Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Welcome. Um, my name is Abby Aslan and I upload two to three times a week so you should totally subscribe and I'm pretty much just like vlogging and doing a lot of like fitness and lifestyle based videos this summer. It is around 7.30 and I worked out this morning at like 5.30, 5.45ish and it was a great workout. I did triceps and abs and some cardio and i'm just feeling good because i got that done with and it's so early still <laughs> but i do have a very sore throat i woke up with it and it was very like out of the blue and random so i like texted my mom and i was just like mom i'm so sick of getting sore throats because if you've been watching me at least for the past like four months you've known that like i've had two upper respiratory infections um this spring so far and they've both like lasted a long time and like the antibiotics haven't worked for them so I just don't feel good because of my sore throat. It really sucks. Um, but I worked out anyways and it's just rough having to deal with a sore throat because you don't feel like doing anything but I have so much I need to do today. I just made some lemon water because I'm trying to just like stay really hydrated because I know that's good when you have a sore throat. And if you're wondering why I'm not drinking out of my Hydro Flask, which I'm sure none of you are, I just feel like right now I need to be drinking out of a cup because I feel like maybe like my Hydro Flask might like not be helping my sore throat just because of like the straw and everything. I'm kind of thinking of going about going back to like the screw top lid. I know it sounds crazy because I love the straw lid so much, but I feel like I don't know. It's like not very sanitary. I don't really know. So I'm just trying to like wean off of that right now, and I'm just drinking out of the cup. I'm gonna drink my water and I'm gonna do my gratitude journal. Normally I like to do this when I first wake up and it be like the first thing I do, but. I have done a lot already this morning, so I'm going to use my five minute journal for that. I highly recommend these are like 20 bucks, I think, but you can get them um, on Urban Outfitters or like Amazon or something. They might be a little bit cheaper. I had some Greek yogurt and granola before I went to the gym this morning, and then I just ate the toast and raspberries that you guys saw, but I'm going to do my gratitude journal, and then I'm going to finish like drinking up my lemon water and probably like watch a YouTube video or two, and then I'm going to shower off but not wash my hair, and We'll get back to you guys in a bit but today's video is sponsored by fabfitfun which i'm so excited about if you've been subscribed to me since like i don't know how long literally like a year and a half for like a year and a half you would know that like i've literally been working with them for a year and a half and this box for this summer is killer you guys like oh my gosh i absolutely adore and love and use everything i got like i'm gonna have to like go through my room and like grab the things that i got in my box so i can like have them all to show you guys because they're truly like spread out everywhere because i've been using everything so i'll be showing you guys that in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and do my gratitude journal so i can get that done with and I just feel a little bit better mentally because it makes me feel so much better throughout the day when i do it and um i will get back to you guys in a bit with today's plan I am getting my bag together for the coffee shop. I usually just take like my computer, my computer charger, and um, like a book whenever I go. I have like my computer glasses in here for like the blue light blocking, but I really don't take much when I do go to coffee shops at it because all I'm doing is usually editing, but I am going to take a book today in case, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I was zooming. <laughs> I am going to take a book today just in case. I am currently reading this, as you guys probably know, um, and I'm like not very far into it to be honest, but that's just because I keep falling asleep while reading because I read at night usually. I also still have my um, like new car tripod that I bought off Amazon in here that I've been meaning to set up in my car and I just have not gotten to it. Sorry, my camera literally sucks. Yeah, I just have not gotten around to like setting up that car tripod, but I really should so I could do some drive with me's and stuff. Gonna head out, get some Zyrtec from like CVS first, I think, and then I'm gonna head to, I think I'm gonna go to Sip and Stir. It's kind of close to downtown, so I don't really want to go that way, but it looks like it has amazing coffee and tons of seating. So that's the plan. carried the bag without getting a bag um yeah i just carried this out from cps after i bought it but i am hoping this helps i totally forgot that zyrtec was like really expensive so i'm just gonna try the off brand because i remember i have tried like a off brand of um zyrtec before that's what i had to use last summer when i was staying in houston um because the lady i stayed with had a cat and i'm like allergic to cats so i would always take off brand so i'm hoping this works and if not i'll just come back and get real stuff
you guys it's 11 55 and um i was at the coffee shop for almost two hours the good news is i did get my vlog done that i went to edit from last week and i thought it was going to take me a really long time to edit but it didn't and i like the vlog a lot i think so i hope you guys do too um i've honestly just gradually gotten to feeling worse unfortunately throughout the day um, so I'm actually headed to like a walk-in clinic or urgent care thing right now and I'm literally hate going to the doctor But if I'm contagious, I want to like go ahead and get medicine So like I don't get anyone else sick and I also just don't want to like not go to the doctor and just wait it out because then I would feel horrible for my brother's wedding next weekend And I don't want to do that um, And I'm staying with him uh, Sunday to next Thursday um, in Houston, so I'm excited for that and I just don't want to be sick while I'm there Guys, so I got another shot in my butt, so hopefully I'll get the feeling better soon. Pretty much she just said that like there was fluid in my ears, but it didn't look like infected, but she said my throat was definitely red and had some like bumps in it. So she prescribed like amoxicillin. So I'm gonna go to Target and get that prescription filled. And then I'm probably gonna go, I don't know if I'm gonna go to Whole Foods before or after, but I'm just gonna try and see if they have like a pre-made chicken we'll see that i can get just because i feel like i really need to just rest and like lay in bed and i'm probably just gonna edit the rest of the day today took such an awkward turn first time in whole foods all right guys i'm back from whole foods i'm running all my errands i'm about to take my medicine and hopefully start feeling better because i feel horrible but from Whole Foods, that was my first time going in. Like I said, I just got some ibuprofen because I knew we didn't have any. I got this thing of chicken noodle soup, but it's not completely full. It's only to like probably right here because there was only that much left in the thing. But I'm really excited to eat it because it looked amazing. Um, so I'm going to eat this right now. And shout out Brooke. <laughs> I remembered as I was walking to the register that um, Smart Sweets were sold at Whole Foods. And she raves about these. I know this is probably not what I should be eating when I'm sick, but I'll definitely try them. Um, I just got the Sour Blast ones and the Peach ones, because um, I remember her saying Sour were good, I think, so. Just got those, and they were on sale, like, two for five or something, but I can't believe that, like, these four things were $18, which is, like, insane. So these Smart Sweets are so amazing. I know that I always try to, like, provide you guys with very, like, valuable and inspiring and meaningful content, and I know sometimes my videos probably, like, don't do any of those things, but I thought it would be a good idea to like start asking you guys questions because you guys help me a lot more than you know. Like I know I probably won't say that often, but like the amount of times y'all have helped me just like with, um, I don't know, just advice and like suggestions to like for trying things if something's not going right in my life, whether it's like me getting sick or me doing bad on a test, like whatever it is, you guys help me so much and, you, and I'm like really appreciative. For all of you who comment also i'm sorry i look so dead this is like really depressing i want you guys to comment either if you don't budget i want you to comment like one budget habit that you're wanting to kind of like implement into your lifestyle um and that way like it, it'll kind of get you thinking about what you would like to do if you don't do it um and kind of like just get you inspired to do it and then if you do budget i would love for you guys to tell me your best piece of advice for budgeting or just like one thing you do that you think is like really helpful. You guys know if you've been watching my vlogs that I recently started budgeting. I haven't really kept up with it the past like four or five days. Um, just cause I've had to spend like a lot of random money like on, you know, like my medicine today and like going to the doctor. So like random stuff like that and I really need to put it in. And all There's like so much that's already happened this month that's been like not planned for the budget, which is not fun. But, yeah, I just thought about that and I was like, I'll have that be like the question today. So I'd love to see what you guys have to say. I am about to clean up the mess I just made <laughs> right here and um, fill up my cup with lemon water and then go sit in my room. Um, but I'm going to show you guys everything I got in my FabFitFun box before it gets dark outside. Um, so, yeah. All right, so the time has finally come where I do my little unboxing. I love watching these videos. For some reason watching people open up boxes and pull things out is just like Christmas for everyone. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, FabFitFun is a subscription box service and basically they have over $200 of not like travel size or small mini size, 
full-size products that range from fashion to lifestyle to beauty, skincare, like literally home decor even. It's over $200 worth in every box and you only pay $50 for the box, which is such a good deal. And with my special code, ABBYA10, which I will leave on the screen and in the description box, you can get $10 off your first box and make this box $40 which is so insane because you literally get so much product. I found personally some of my favorite brands that I use to this day through FabFitFun. I've repurchased products that I've gotten in FabFitFun boxes and I've tried on a lot of things that I never would have tried out if I didn't have the FabFitFun box and I'm so thankful for that. So here's the insane thing that I just want you guys to sit and think about for a second. Um, they give you these little magazines that show everything that you is in your box and the things that you could have gotten Because that fun now lets you customize your boxes, which I think is awesome I personally like getting a lot of skincare because I don't like spending a lot of money on skincare So I get really nice skincare products in here that are full size and I don't really have to pay for them because it's only $40 for the box and normally the skincare stuff in here is over $40 itself the total value depending on your selection is at least $270 and you can literally get this box for $40 up to $468, which is the highest range I've ever seen. Also, all of you people in the UK, FabFitFun now ships to the UK, which is great news. And I personally love this summer box. It's one of my favorite boxes I've ever gotten. And um, they just released their summer box, so you guys can use a link in the code down below to get $10 off your first box, like I said, and just check it out. And also, if you are looking for a gift to get someone, you can get just one box at a time, or you can get the annual subscription. So, um, if you have been on YouTube and you watch, like, Brooke Mencio, I keep mentioning Brooke in this vlog. Hey, Brooke. And you've probably heard of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and, like, their line and everything. I have always wanted to try both of these products and I've just never wanted to spend the money on them and this is a Brazilian bum bum cream and it comes in this super cute little small container which is perfect for traveling and this is like a firming um fast absorbing body cream that is supposed to help tighten and smooth like no other I use it on the back of my thighs like my upper thighs and my butt because that's where your girl needs some firming always this is the best smelling lotion I've ever had in my entire life I'm not lying I'm really good at describing taste but not scents this smells like coconut meets van like warm vanilla sugar. And then even better, this is like a huge lifesaver for me. This is a Brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel. And it comes in this cute little orange bottle once again. And this leaves my skin so soft and so smooth. I use this all over my body in the shower every single time I shower. I normally, when I use like shower creams like this and gels all over my body, um, they leave that residue and even with every soap bar I've ever used This is the only thing I've tried that doesn't leave like a residue on my skin yeah, Both of these together are $45 So if you sign up for the box and select to get these um, The box pays off with just this set alone Next up is this Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray It's a hydrating rose facial spray which just came in at a perfect time Because I just ran out of my other rose spray that I was using I really like rose sprays to just like hydrate my face throughout the day. And this retails for $26, so this is like a very nice rose water. I would never personally spend that much on a rose water, but I got it. This is the Dr. Rogers Restore Healing Balm, and it's in this like white tube, as you guys can see. Um, and this is great for traveling as well. This can be used for a lot of different things. Basically, it's just like an all-in-one for smoothing and healing dry and damaged skin, which we all know I have dry skin. So I really like putting this like on my cuticles where my skin's really dry and like where I get the skin pulls because I pick up my nails all the time whenever I'm stressed out. I probably think I'm weird for getting exciting about this, but this is a exfoliating foot mask. It's in this really cute white, gold, and black little tube and you put this on your feet, sleep with it on, and then rinse it off after like eight hours. So it's best to use at bedtime, which this is a lifesaver for me because I have really cracked heels and Griffin always, my boyfriend if you're new here, always makes fun of me for it. So glad I have this now to help me out. So happy I got a face mask in here because I didn't bring any with me to Dallas. This is the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. It's literally purple and this retails for $39. Next up, we've got some cute little Invisibobble hair ties. Um, funny because these are like the only hair ties I ever use. So I'm super happy I got more of these because I actually only have had one with me here this whole time in Dallas and I've been like having to keep up with it. And this retails for $16 and it comes with six and there's like a little nude color and then the clear um, one in here as well. I freaking love this product. I've been using it um, when I get out of the shower I know all of you guys have heard of this brand. It's living proof no frizz nourishing style styling cream 
and it stops frizz and lightly conditions and this is so good on my hair right when i get out of the shower i just follow the instructions on it and put it in my hair and then i put my normal products in my hair and my hair is always so much less frizzier and the curls look so much better every time i use it and this retails for 28 dollars, and it's like a really good size because you can travel with it and i just really really like it next up this one's not in its like pouch or whatever because i've already worn it a bunch but i got this beautiful star necklace um, it's kind of like a double layer and there's like a little gold star on both of the chains and it's just very dainty and cute I wore this on the bachelorette weekend um, last weekend in Chattanooga or two weekends ago in Chattanooga and I love this necklace so much I love gold jewelry I love stars this was such my vibe and it's from the brand Jennifer Zuner and it came in this cute little white velvet pouch this retails for $50 so I can't believe I got it and it's just so freaking cute and I'm going to be wearing it all the time and I already have started wearing it okay y'all and last but not least this is really exciting I did choose these um, I would never personally pay for these because this pack retails for $39 these beautiful West Elm indigo like tie-dye bowls and I thought these would be so beautiful for my house that I'm living in at school next year and it's just three different little sizes of these beautiful ceramic glass white and indigo bowls and they're wrapped really cute and i've kept these in their package because i don't want them to break this is getting really long so i'm gonna wrap it up but please remember to check out fabfitfun you guys just saw all of this and you guys know it's amazing so i definitely recommend trying it out so i just put everything back up that i took out from the fabfitfun box put it back in its place where they were before i had to film it for you guys and i'm laying in bed right now and i'm just going to lay here and rest with a blanket because my medicine's not working yet and my throat still hurts and i feel really tired so i'm gonna lay here and watch videos and while i have while i'm watching videos i'm going to export um my video that i edited this morning and then make a thumbnail for it and then i'm probably gonna edit another video in a little bit um if i have time i know griff and i are gonna watch the bachelorette on hulu tonight because we didn't we don't watch it live just because we don't have cable in this part we just have wi-fi so we're just gonna watch it on hulu tonight and we're probably either going to get postmates for dinner and like have something delivered i don't really want to do that because i feel like food is never that good when it's delivered just because like it sits and it's not as fresh but we have a hundred dollars in delivery credit because they like i don't i think they're yeah if you use the code eat 19 and you're like new to postmates you can get a hundred dollars in credit so we did that last this past weekend and used it for one of the nights when it was like torrentially downpouring and we needed to get food so we'll either do that and use free delivery which is really nice or we will go somewhere um i don't really feel like going somewhere right now but i might later if my medicine kicks in there's so many crazy things happening on youtube right now oh my gosh so natalie uploaded earlier today about quitting her job which i watched natalie barbu if you guys don't watch her you guys would like her a lot and i'm so happy for her and so proud of her i'm not like youtube friends with her per se but like i've been watching her for a very long time and i'm just so happy that after a year of working in the corporate world she is able to like pursue youtube full-time that just makes my heart so happy for her and my heart is breaking for molly she just posted this video about having a miscarriage and it just like i literally got i pretty much cried while watching and she's just so strong so um heart goes out to her right now for sure so we got the taco post made it with free delivery and we got some street corn i keep accidentally zooming i got like the barbacoa one on a corn tortilla without the pickled onions and it has like grilled pineapple on it and i had this place once in houston last year but then i got the buffalo chicken one this one's like so not like me but i got it without ranch and blue cheese oil diffuser is going i have lavender in right now to do the nighttime portion of my gratitude journal and then i'm getting this video uploaded right now i just have to like get it uploaded onto youtube but after that i'm gonna read i want to really finish this book because i wanted to start chillpreneur so bad so i'm trying to finish this as soon as possible because i've just been reading little chunks at a time um but i always read it at night when i'm tired so i always start falling asleep so that's my issue i want to plug all of my like things in like my watch and my phone right now before i read I'm so mad. I know it's only 918, but I'm so mad because I've like a far exceeded my goals besides my standing today, which normally I actually get my standing um on my like workout days, so it's weird that I haven't. So I'm literally going to probably stay up later just so I can get that great closed because I'm so annoying. But yeah, just um got the video scheduled and now finally going to crawl into bed and read. I'm so happy. 
Good morning, everyone. It's actually 1.15 the next day. I, like, totally thought I ended off the vlog last night, and I thought about it before I went to bed, but then I, like, forgot to pick up my camera, and I just remembered that I never formally closed it off, and I wanted to for you guys. The weather's, like, super gloomy and rainy today in Dallas, so originally I was gonna, like, film and stuff, but I was like, it's gonna be way too dark in my room because it's already dark as is when it's sunny in my room just from all the shade from the trees and stuff. So I'm not gonna film today. <laughs> Instead, I'm just editing three videos today, which is like so many to do in one day. That's what I'm doing today. That's gonna be like my day and I think I'm gonna work out tonight. Um, so yeah, I just wanna say thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and be sure to check out FabFitFun in the description and use my code to get $10 off your box. It's seriously such an amazing deal. You can get it all for $39.99. And subscribe if you're not already and follow me on social media down below. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.